essential tremor is a common condition that can be very frustrating for many people. There are no medical cures for essential tremor, so many people turn to supplements such as CBD oil to try to get relief. But does CBD oil actually help with essential tremors? Hi, I'm Dr. Patricia Shelton, lead medical communicator for Tahiro. And let's take a look at this article here on Tahiro's website about CBD oil and essential tremor. So first of all, what is essential tremor? Well, a tremor is an involuntary movement, so something you're not in control of, and a rhythmic movement, so something that's kind of going back and forth. And an essential tremor is the most common type of action tremor. So a tremor that doesn't occur at rest, but as soon as you start to use the affected part, which is usually the hands and arms, that's when the tremor begins. And this can be so frustrating for people because as soon as you try to do anything, that's when that tremor comes and interferes with your ability to make things happen in your life. Um, so it can be really, really frustrating. Now, truthfully, we do not know what causes essential tremor, why some people get it and some people don't. It definitely gets a lot more common as people get older so it appears to be some type of degenerative process, but younger people can get it too. Um, and genetics seem to play some kind of a role, but we just really don't know exactly what's causing this. And kind of related to that, we also don't really have a cure for this. So the medications that we have essentially kind of calm down the nervous system. They will work to reduce the amplitude of the tremors. So they make it smaller, which makes it a lot easier to function with the tremor. But what they can't do is really get rid of it altogether right? The tremor will kind of still be there. And because we don't have any super great medical treatments for this, um, some people start to think, well, I'd like to try some supplements. Um, again, with supplements, honestly, we don't have any that are going to cure the essential tremor, or get rid of it altogether. And we don't really have any that have a huge, huge impact on reducing the tremor either, right? We have found some supplements that have some effect in the research, some vitamins, B1, B12, um, herbs that kind of work to calm the nervous system. So like the pharmaceuticals work in a similar way, right? And these herbs, so valerian, skulk, passion flower, um, also work to kind of calm down the nervous system. Um, might help for some people. Do be really careful with those. They can cause side effects. They can interact with pharmaceuticals, with other supplements, with medical conditions. So definitely be careful with those guys. And then some people try cannabinoids like CBD, right? So what is CBD? It's a cannabinoid, which means it's a substance that comes from the cannabis plant. And cannabis is a type of plant that, depending on the kind of specific strain of the plant, it can either be a marijuana plant or a hemp plant. And we'll talk in just a minute about the difference between those two, um, right? But they're all cannabis, right? And cannabinoids are substances that come from the cannabis plant. Now, what they do is actually mimic a natural signaling chemical in your nervous system, or a group of natural signaling chemicals in your nervous system, which are known as endocannabinoids, right? And the cannabinoids interact with the receptors of that system and kind of mimic it inside of the nervous system. And that tends to produce relaxation, muscle relaxation, nervous system relaxation, right? Now, a lot of people start to think, okay, if this CBD comes from cannabis, which is marijuana, it sounds like it's probably gonna get me high. And I don't wanna use it to get high, I wanna use it to function better in my daily life. So it's important to talk about the different types of cannabinoids, right? Because there are many, many different chemicals in this group. The one that causes people to feel high, that intense relaxation when they smoke or eat marijuana, that is THC. It's a specific cannabinoid that has that, that ability. Right? And marijuana is a type of cannabis plant that's specifically bred to have very high levels of THC. So that's why it's so powerful at altering mental state and why people want to use it recreationally and sometimes medicinally. Um, now, CBD is a completely different cannabinoid and it actually doesn't really alter mental state. So it's not going to get you high, right? which is good news if you're looking to find something that's going to help you function better in your daily life. CBD shouldn't interfere with that really. Um, so does it work, right? Here's the, the really important question. Do, is CBD actually going to help with essential tremor? Well, we really don't know a lot about this because there are no large, well-controlled studies of CBD for essential tremor. There really aren't any. One study injected a cannabinoid that wasn't exactly CBD, but it was very similar, into the spinal cord, and that did reduce the symptoms of essential tremor. So that's promising, 
not exactly proof. Um, there was a study that gave one dose of CBD to people with essential tremor and it didn't do anything, but it was one dose. So how much does that mean? And then another one found that CBD plus THC actually did have an impact. However, because of the THC, almost certainly, people started to get side effects. They were tired, they had trouble concentrating, right? They just basically felt kind of high and they didn't like it. Um, so that's likely because of the THC. As far as CBD alone, what would it do? We just don't have enough studies to know. What we mostly have are anecdotes that this has worked for people. We have a potential mechanism of action that kind of makes sense, um, but we just don't have the research to actually prove anything either way. So people who decide to try this are deciding to try it um, in case it works, right? On the strength of some other people having reported that it helps them. And when you don't have a lot else that's potentially going to help you, um, some people just wanna try anything that might have an impact. Um, so if you're looking for CBD, you can buy specifically CBD oil that's purified only CBD. But keep in mind, there are lots of different cannabinoids in hemp. And hemp, of course, is sort of an industrial cannabis, right? It's bred for the fibers, which are really useful, um, and then also for kind of nutritional supplement purposes. Um, there can be a lot of variation between different hemp plants in the specific types of cannabinoids in them. But hemp generally has very little, if any, THC. It might have none, it might have some. It doesn't have a lot because that's not what it's for, right? It wasn't bred for that. Um, it may or may not have a lot of CBD either. Hemp doesn't always have a lot of CBD. So if you're looking to use hemp oil rather than CBD oil specifically, you do wanna make sure that hemp oil does have CBD in it and generally it will be labeled for that. And then if it's called full spectrum, that means all the fat soluble substances in that hemp plant, everything oily inside of it, that's what you're getting. If there is a little bit of THC in that hemp plant, the full spectrum hemp oil will contain it. It's probably not gonna be enough to have a huge impact for most people, but with some strains of hemp and with some people being more sensitive, um, you might notice an impact. Um, with a broad spectrum hemp oil, it actually means the THC is specifically removed all the other cannabinoids are contained in there. And because there are many, many different cannabinoids and also other types of kind of fat soluble, maybe similar chemicals contained inside of hemp, um, when you take a broad spectrum hemp oil, you get more than just CBD, you get these other things, which could have a benefit. Again, we have really no idea whether they do or not. Um, so how much should you use? Again, we have no way of knowing that, honestly. Um, we think the maximum safe dose is 20 milligrams per kilogram per day. So the kilograms is your body weight. Um, if you're in the US or UK and you're used to using pounds, take your body weight and convert it into kilograms. And then you multiply that by 20. That would be your maximum, very maximum milligrams that's safe to take per day. We have some signs that this stuff can cause liver damage at doses that are higher than that. Um, and so we don't wanna just flood the system with this stuff, right? We do wanna be kind of judicious in using it. Um, so maximum 20 milligrams per kilogram per day. Now that doesn't mean you have to start there. In fact, most people would say, start at the lowest possible dose, maybe five milligrams per kilogram per day, something like this, and then slowly ramp it up to see if it has an impact until you get to that maximum. Don't go past that maximum. If it hasn't had an impact by then, move on, try something different, it's not gonna work because it's not safe if we take too much of it. And before you start using it, make sure you talk to your doctor. This stuff can interact with your prescription medications, with medical conditions that you may have. Um, it's really important to make sure that it's gonna be safe for you and that it's not gonna interfere with anything else that you're taking or that, you're ha you, that you have. Um, most people, this is very, very safe, but it is important to check in with your doctor to make sure. Um, so just in summary, if you're looking for a hemp oil to get your CBD, make sure it's a hemp oil that does contain CBD, first of all. You might wanna look for a broad spectrum rather than full spectrum to make sure that THC is removed so that it won't impact your mental state. And you might want to look for a product that also contains other nutrients, something like omega-5 fatty acids that also help to protect the nervous system from degeneration since we do believe essential tremor is a process of nervous system degeneration. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email us, knowledge at tohero.com. And as always, we're wishing you great brain health.